Well, hi everyone. So I just wanted to show you some of my summer 2014 garden. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for hanging in there with me. All my longtime subscribers and thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate you. So here's one of the mammoth sunflowers. It didn't get that huge. It's planted it along the edge of my backyard, kind of in direct wind. The wind comes from over there. And I just planted a few sunflowers along here. But what I really wanted to show you was the Seminole pumpkin. They've really taken off. I'll show a seed packet at the end of the video so you can see what they'll look like when they're ready. But the plant's just massive. It's taken over this whole area. And I'll give you a close-up of what some of the pumpkins look like. Okay, here's another view of how massive this plant is. And in here is one of the first ones that started growing. It's right in there. That's about the size of a, a large softball. Let me see where another one. Here's one that's just been around for about a week. And let me search for another one. Okay, here's a new little baby. And over here's one. So Seminole pumpkins are supposed to be really good for use in baking. That's mainly why I grew them. Here's one. I think this one's going to be one of the bigger ones. It's like a little bit of bird damage. It'll still be good though. Here's another little one. Maybe this one will take... I think I counted all together about eight or nine so far. So yeah, that was... That's really the most exciting thing happening this summer in my garden. I've got some tomatoes and a, a few other things I'll show in another clip. Maybe I'll show a few photos of it at the end of this one too. But I just mostly wanted to say hi. Let me give you a view out there. That's just a schoolyard behind my house and then out that way is the beach. About 15 miles away. Get a nice breeze coming in here. I think that was a mistake for me planting the, the sunflowers right here because they really take up a, a beating when the winds come in. But it was good for the squash, obviously. So anyways, um, I hope everyone's garden's doing well. And thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.